welcome back to Tom's Life. Today we are making sudden fried chicken wraps. So the ingredients you need is six chicken thighs, eggs, chilli powder, Cajun, turmeric, salt freezing flour, eggs, milk, Dijon mustard, two spring onions, one lettuce, tor tortilla wraps, and you also need paprika, sunflower oil, and white vinegar. First step, we're going to prep all the ingredients. I'm going to start off with the raw chicken. So first step, we want to prep our chicken. We want to chop them into thin. We want to chop them into strips. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your knife, and you're going to chop them into three medium strips, and then you'll coat them in egg and your seasoning. So you do it like that and what you do is you just plan it out if you've got a small piece don't worry you'll still get enough out of it and you're just chopping them going through the knife till you've got nice thin strips like that i'll show you one more time with this one, with it being only a small one, you just chop it down the middle. But that's all to do with your your size of your chicken thighs. You might have to give it a little bit of force. And once you've done all that, you're going to place them back in your mixing bowl. And you'll finish off doing the rest of your chicken. So next step, you want to start cracking your eggs. This will be your wet ingredients for your coating. So you're first going to give your egg a little tap. Then you're going to break it down the middle, catching the shell. You'll do the same with your other egg. So you now want to start whisking your eggs. So they all bind in. And then you'll add in your milk. You won't need all of your milk, but you put half in to give a nice coating to your chicken. Now you want to pour some milk in into your eggs. You put in a third or half. And what you want to do is you want to give this little whisk in with your eggs. And then in a minute you'll put all your chicken in, your egg and milk mixture and then you give these a good coat what you so what you're doing is coating your chicken in your egg and milk and then what you do is you you'll put some salt freezing flour your spices and seasoning in another bowl and then you will just dip them in to the dry ingredients now you want to place all your chicken in with your eggs and milk with your fork, you just want to give them a, a stir in and let these coat into your eggs and milk for a few minutes while you, while you put all your dry ingredients in a separate bowl and then you'll take each piece of chicken what's coated in your eggs and milk into your dry ingredients Now you want to put half a pack of salt freeze and flour into your mixing bowl. And then what you want to do is you want to start adding your spices. You first add a pinch of Cajun. Just 
Just add a little bit more, but not a lot. A little pinch of paprika. So these are your spices, your flour and your seasoning you're doing. And you also put a pinch of turmeric in. Just give that a little bit of a stir with your knife. Then you're gonna add in some seasoning, some ground black pepper. And a little bit of ground salt. And you want to give that a fully good stir. And then what we'll do is take every piece of chicken out of our ingredients like our egg and milk and coat them in this and then we'll fry them and they'll be nice and golden. So what you do now is you want to start coating your chicken in with your spices and self raisin flour. So what you do is you grab a few pieces of chicken out of your egg and milk what you do is you just you just give them a little shake off and you're going to place them in. Do two or three two or three at, at a time, but don't overdo the bowl. And then what you do is you give them a good coat in. And then you just give them a little shake when you think they're nicely coated. And then we've got a chopping board here, we're just going to place them on. Just like that. So you're just giving them a good shake off. And you just keep doing each chicken till you cover them all. What you do after when you have done that, you 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 pan fry them with a bit of sunflower oil for three to five minutes and then you let them cool while you make your mayonnaise but you just finish off doing your chicken so like i'm doing here I'll show you again just shaking them and then you're giving them all a good coat in the flour and spices And then you give them a little shake and then you place them on the chopping board. So next step you're going to switch on your hob. You want to set it to high. You're going to get the pan, place that on the ring. In a minute you add in some sunflower oil to your pan and then you'll start frying your chicken three to five minutes so they go nice and golden. So as you can see our, our hob is now nicely sizzling. We put our chicken in and what you want to do is you want to seal them on one side. After three to five minutes You'll turn them over using your fish slicer and you'll do the other side till they go nice and golden. As you can see they are nearly cooked. You're just going to give them another minute on each side. Then you put them on the plate and you'll just finish off doing your rest of your chicken. But be careful with the, with the oil being hot. So just use your fish slicer. Now you want to place them on the plate. So 
So you're just getting them all out, letting them cool down. While you finish off making the rest of your chicken. So next step, you're going to make your homemade mayonnaise. You will need two egg yolks. So what you're going to do is you're going to carefully crack your egg. You're going to break it down the middle. And then what you're doing is you're just putting your egg whites in one bowl. And once you've got your egg yolk, you're going to place it in the other bowl. You do the same with your other egg yolk. And then you'll... You will get a teaspoon of mustard, add some seasoning and give that a good whisk to start off with. Now you want to add in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Get that out. Just add in a little bit more, but not a lot. Then you want to add some seasoning, some salt. And a little bit of ground black pepper. And then what you want to do, if you want to start whisking this, give this a good whisk. So it binds together. And then what you do is you start to add in your, your sunflower oil slowly. You'll need 250 mils. If you've got another person with you, they will slowly pour that in for you. And you want to stir this pretty well. So what you want to do, you want to slowly add in your olive oil, your sunflower oil. And you want to stir this for a while. Until you get a nice peakness of mayonnaise. Might take a few minutes. Two to three minutes till you get your tex texture of mayonnaise you like. Then you put a little bit of some. Then you put a little bit of white vinegar in. Now you want to add in a little splash of white vinegar and with your whisk you want to give this a good, another, a good whisk together and this will start to come together so you just do this for another few minutes and then you just keep tasting it to see how you like your mayonnaise. Now you want to start now you want to start shredding your two spring onions. You first chop your ends off. And then you want to chop it down the middle. Be careful with your fingers. And then chop it again down the middle. And then you just want to finally slice them into little pieces. I'll show you again with the other half. So carefully chop it down the middle. Keep it together. And then you're just finally slicing them. You do the same with your other spring onion. So you've got fine little pieces. And then we'll do the same with the lettuce. 
and then you start making your southern fried chicken wraps got a little bowl here place all your spring onion in now you want to prep your lettuce you first chop your head off where the root is Then you just want to take the top layer off because you don't know what's on the top layer. Just like that. Then you're going to chop you're going to chop it in half, but you just want to chop enough off for enough for your sudden fried chicken wraps. So I've gone a third. And what you want to do, if you carefully want to slice it, always remember to move your fingers out the way, like that, keep it all bind together. And then what you want to do is you want to carefully chop it finely into fine pieces. Just like that. And then what you're going to do, is you're going to get your spring onions, you're going to place all your lettuce in with it. And then you just give it, you're going to give it a little toss. So it's all tossed in like that nicely. And this will be our base. So what you want to do is you want to get your homemade mayonnaise, you want to put a spoonful in the middle. You don't want loads. And then with your knife, you just carefully want to spread it out all the way round. Nice thin layer. Just like that. Now you want to get a little bit of your spring onions and lettuce. You place it like that. And then you want to get three big pieces. You want to get three, three or four pieces, depends how much chicken you've got. So I'm just going with three, it's all to do with the size of your chicken. And you place that on top of your lettuce. You first want to fold your you first want to fold one of your tortillas over. Then you want to tuck in the bottom. And then you want to keep folding it. And tucking it in like that. And then you'll keep doing it. To make your southern fried chicken wraps. This is how you make my southern fried chicken wraps. I hope you like this recipe. Hit the like button, share and subscribe and thank you.